recording right welcome to socas when like it the man united direction today we are talking about the match preview for the big game tomorrow united semi-final first leg europa league match against as roma and today we have bems in the house talking about united's chances tactics substitutions lineups and what's next bems welcome to the show mate thank you man thanks for having me tim Right, so United fifth attempt for semi-finals under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. What are we looking at tomorrow against AS Roma at Old Trafford first leg? Well, um, it's going to be an interesting game. From what I um, from what I see, um, I think AS Roma have had a they, um, they've played well in the Europa League so far. Um, they won pretty much all their games except for one. I think they only got one draw. Um, and so, I mean, yeah, I just look at, I think I, I, I'll put it this way. I look at AS Roma, yeah, it's like AC Milan, but I think um, I think they might have better, a little bit better quality in the final third. Um, with AC Milan, they didn't have, um, uh, um, a lot of time didn't play the first leg, so they were missing that. But I think in this case, I think they pretty much have, I don't know if there's any injuries, but I think they have their guys playing. So it's going to be an interesting game. I think United can win this game. We can win uh, uh, because, uh, I mean, again, we, I mean, we're in second place in our league. We're playing a better league. Um, yes, Roma playing Italian league, which is a little slower league. The seventh. In, the, in like seventh position. So this is a game that United should go and win, but it's not going to be a walk in the park. We should right. still re- we should still respect them. Right. Because uh, they're going to come with their own troubles. Right. Uh, there was recently, when the draw was made initially, uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said, uh, you know, he's, he's trying to say out of his summer, he doesn't know much about Roma. He doesn't follow them. And the fans took, they took, res- they took resentment to that, that as an insult. Like, how would you not know Roma? Blah, blah, yeah. blah. But he's saying, what I meant is that I've not really had time to analyze the team, but fans, they've been, they put up posters in the training ground telling the players to make sure Ole remembers them for a very long time. The <laughs> last time the two teams met in 19, in, what's it, 19, in, 20, oh, in 2007, it was a massacre at Old Trafford. They got beaten by seven goals to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we yeah, had the lineup yeah, of yeah, Ronaldo, yeah. Tevez and Rooney at the time. So uh, it, it was... That was a different time, a different era. 14 years later, the two teams are playing in a, a tournament lower. Yep. Yeah. So, imagine you see how you see how time time change. You see what happens to these clubs, man. Yeah. 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 And uh, Ole said he has the shirt of Totti, who was a legend at the club. He played in both games at Old Trafford and uh, was on the losing side on both ta- on, on both sides. But overall, now United going to the semi final first leg tomorrow. We know do you what is your predicted lineup for this game? Okay. My predicted lineup, um, okay, will be the standard um four, two, three, one that Ole normally plays. Right. Uh he's gonna go with his regular back four. Right. Um Maguire, Lindelof, Shaw, uh Aaron Wabasaka. Right. Now I think um I think in this game, I think he's gonna play. He's gonna play. Um, he's gonna play Fred. Right. I predict Fred. I'll probably. I think he might go with Matic. Fred and Matic. People. People have said yeah. Fred and Matic. I think. I think he'll go with Matic this time because Matic is. Uh, this is a slow. It, it, it's expected to be a slower pace game. It, right. Uh, um, the type of pace Matic should be able to handle. So, I'll say Matic and Fred in the in the in, in the midfield pivot. Mm. Obviously, Bruno at the ten position. Then I think uh, right wing, he'll probably go to Rashford. Left wing, I think he'll play Pogba in the left wing position. Right. And then Cavani up top. Cavani on top. That's what I'm expecting. That's what I'm expecting. So yeah. you're saying Mason will come on as a sub. As a sub. He's either, I mean, he can go with either or at this point. It could be Mason, it could be Cavani. It could be Mason, it could be Cavani. But um, if I look, I, I don't know who, who started the last game. I think um, Mason started the game against Leeds, right? Yes. So um, Cavani I mean, came off the bench. Cavani yeah. came off the bench. Ten minutes to go. I would expect Cavani to start 
against right. uh, AS Roma um, in this new game. Again, he could go with Mason Greenwood again, but I would expect Cavani to start. So um, the way, because the way I look at it, I think Ole is going to want to put his best team off the bat and try to try to force the result that he wants, which is, I, I don't know, are we playing at home or are we playing away? We're playing at Old Trafford tomorrow. Yeah, Old Trafford, yeah. So, so I think, um, yeah, he's, he's going to want to get the results. He's going to want to get the win. So he's definitely, yeah. So he's, he's I think, he's, he, yeah, he's, 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 I expect him to put his strongest team, a strong team that will go out there and get the results. So I think that lineup, my guess is what I expect to see. Right. So with that lineup, you're saying Ole is going to kind of go all out to try and get result in this first leg and instead of he, he will try and go get all, try and get everything that will give him an advantage to go to Italy, to go to Rome with yes. something credible. Yeah. A draw would not be, I mean, a draw would be disastrous, but you never know. But I would prefer a 2 0 lead, but I yeah. just feel Roma will score one. I have a feeling they'll score. I, I totally agree with you. I think Roma will score. I think, well, I mean, when we play at home, we we tend to concede quite a lot at home. Right, right. That, um, that seems to be the pattern. Yeah, that seems to be the pattern. So I expect Roma to score probably a goal. I expect it to be like a 2-1 win at the end of the day. I, right. I a a, a bit one. tight. Not. Uh... But, yeah, yeah. I, I expect it to be a bit tight. But I think, in my opinion, if Ole, because obviously playing Fred and McTominay in the midfield pivot, that, I mean, yeah, you're just going to get the energy. That's You're not going to get the creativity. If Ole right. really yeah. wants to put himself in a better position to create more chances, he needs... He needs he needs Pogba in in the final. He needs two creative uh, uh, two two creative attacking midfielders in the final third. Right, Pogba and Bruno, Bruno and um, and Van der Beek. At least two of them. Right, at least two of them. Because if you notice, we don't when it's just Bruno and it's what Daniel James. Oh. Rashford and Cavani, we don't create the chances, man. No, we so, don't. Yeah, he, he needs at least one of them. So I think, yeah, Pogba, Pogba will play with him in the final third, and that's going to create more chance, give 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 more chances to Cavani. And um, so, yeah, I, I expect us to win. I expect us to win that game, but yeah, we'll probably concede. But we'll probably yeah. concede. And yeah. I think he, I think he's going to uh, go with uh, De Gea in goal tomorrow. I, I agree at the game, yeah. yeah. yeah because the, the role seemed to have switched. It seems it used to... But before the girl went to go and have it, his wife had the baby, it used to be the girl for Premier League games and Henderson for the Cup games. The Cup games, but yeah. now it is now it's switched. switched yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, I hope... Uh, I, I see United winning two... I, I see 3-1, but I'll take 2-0. I'll take 2-0, but I just... Yeah. That defence just looks like they will concede a, a corner kick a set oh, piece yeah. goal, Except, exactly. a free kick, it, something along a, those lines. See what I mean? It'll probably a set piece goal. And uh, Jekko, Jekko is uh, their number yep. nine. Jekko is tall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's he's, he's pretty good in the air. No, very um, good. From a, from a city player. He used to play for City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's very player. good in the air. With, he's, he's, yeah. he's like a Zlatan. Very difficult yeah, exactly. to mark. He's like a Zlatan. He's, he's a pretty good uh, striker. He's a, he's a decent number nine, too. So he's going to... He's gonna give Lindelof uh, uh, um, oh, some God. trouble. There's just just the thought, just that thought of my man fumbling about in the air and being bullied off the ball is is, is worrying. Then you have ex United player who uh, Mourinho bought and got rid of M- Mkhitaryan. He's playing. He's having a fine season at the moment. Yeah, he's having a fine season, man. He's having a good season there. Yeah, I heard. I heard that he's. I, I don't know what his stats are, but yeah, he's he's he's, 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 he's got like a, his assists are very high. He scored yeah. quite a goal. I think he scored 10 plus goals. I, oh. I'm thinking that the last I saw, he was on eight, eight goals. So he's having a great season. Yeah. The pace is the pace suits him than the EPL. It suits him much better. I yeah, mean, yeah. It's, I it's, think it's he got did yeah, he get yeah. bought and sold? He bought he got bought and got sold the following season. To uh, Mourinho. No, he no, he's to finished- Arsenal. No, no, no. He spent a couple of seasons at United. It wasn't. No, 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 no. no. M- Marino bought him. Marino bought him, bought Bailly. Marino joined uh, United in 2016. 2016. Then we won the um, Europa League in 2017. Yeah. 
Mikitarin scored in that final. 2018, he was sold in January of that of the 2018 season. Yeah, yeah. So to, it, was, to Arsenal. it was a little bit. It was almost two years, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was almost two years. Then he went to Arsenal, and then, yeah, he, and he couldn't make it at Arsenal either. No. So, uh, yeah, I, I, so. He came from the Bundesliga initially. Yeah, and he was and he was well, lights out in the Bundesliga, man. Yeah. He was out there, man. Really he was, good. He was killing it. So you can you can kind of tell. I, I I just think I just think the the uh, uh the physicality and the intensity of the Premier League just in suit. He, 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 I, I think he's one of those players that just can't play in the Premier League, man. Right. Because he, he needs he more time on the ball. Or maybe if he went to a lower team in the Premier League, maybe he'll be able to probably like a West Ham, a team where um, you probably have more space to play, like right. Lingard is right now. Right. Maybe he might have done okay there, but yeah, you never know. Right. So now United, uh, this is Ole Gunnar's fifth attempt in the semi-final stage. It would be nice if United can beat AS Roma and get to the final. It could be an all-English final. It could be no English final. It could be AC Milan. It could be AS Roma and um, Villarreal. It could be a Spanish-Italian final. Yeah, like it was last be. season. Yeah, because last yeah, season was, uh, you know, Spanish Italian. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, it as it stands now, United have an opportunity. Ole has said the team is now mentally and psychologically more mature from the last four semi-finals that they 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 fell that that hurdle. But now, hopefully, they could get through. I'm I'm predicting a three-one. You are predicting a win, but they'll concede a goal. Yeah. So that could be either two-one or whatever it is yeah. Yeah. yeah but you know the return the, the return legs are the following week there's no two weeks anymore because it's just back to back yeah back to back mm-hmm. uh you mm-hmm. saw the champions league games you saw chelsea and real madrid and mm-hmm. you saw city and um PSG. Yeah. yeah as you as a football follower not as a united fan now okay when you saw chelsea real madrid what was going through your mind that was actually a good game, man. That was a good game first half. I think, I think Chelsea, I think Chelsea would have confirmed their spot in the uh, um, in the finals if they could finish, they could if they could finish up their chances in, in that first half. Right. They missed a lot of chances. Timo Werner missed a, I mean, a clean one on one. Having a stinker, really. Goal. He couldn't score. Uh, there was a couple more chances there. Uh, uh, um, I think. It, it look, just watching the first half, I think Chelsea could have been easily, they could have been up 3-1 Wow! in the, the first half. They could have easily been up. And being being up 3-1 away with those three away goals, that would have pretty much Done. guaranteed them in. in so as it stands play, now, yeah. what do you think will happen in the return leg? I, I think in the return leg, so in the return leg, um, I expect Real Madrid to score against Chelsea. I don't expect it to be a nil-nil game. As it stands, I think what if uh, if they don't score at Chelsea, Chelsea go through. Yes, I expect Real Madrid to. So, only thing is Chelsea's defense. I mean, Tuchel has got them playing. He, he's got them playing way better than Lampard, man. They're right. defensively yes. they're very good. I mean, they're tight. They don't. I mean, they. I mean, they press. They press high. Um, he he he. Tuchel's the kind of manager that gives. He 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 makes his players find ways to to um, solve situations like that. They they I mean he, he always wants them solving situations, solving problems at, at any given time of the right pitch. Uh, um, I mean, I mean that I mean playing that back three. I mean th- what three four three they normally play. I, I mean he's got them playing well. The only thing is in that number nine position is whether whether kind of. Struggling a little bit. If Timo Werner could finish his his food, Chelsea would be even way better. But uh, yeah, they're a very tough team to play, man. Uh, uh, I mean, they they, I mean, and, and again, very tactical, tactical manager in Tuchel. So um, yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting because Real Madrid they they definitely have the experience. Um, right. On the Zidane, they've won it how many times in a row? I mean, they got more experienced players. I expect Real Madrid to come out. Uh, um, attacking against Chelsea because they because because Real Madrid is the ones that need to go right. They need to score more than Chelsea, so I expect Real Madrid to attack, and then that might open it up for Chelsea to 
to uh, counterattack. Again, I don't know why Ramos wasn't playing. I don't know if Ramos is injured or something. I, I think he was injured. He probably was injured. So yeah, so yeah, and, and then um and then Hazard, he he uh, yeah, he 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 got a few minutes first game. I expect him to get more minutes uh, um, against enough. Chelsea. Like- um because uh, yeah, I, I expect him to play more. He's not had a he, his Real Madrid career did not really work out as it's not worked out well at all, man. He's been injured pretty much the whole time. Wow. He's been well, he was never injured that long when he was at Chelsea, was he? He, he wasn't injury prone in Chelsea. He wasn't. He wasn't injury prone in Chelsea. I, I don't wow. know what happened. Uh, I really don't know what happened to him. There was some rumors that he gained weight or whatever um, before in that summertime before he moved to to Real Madrid. He just got sluggish. I I, I really don't know, man. But it's just it's just weird because he had an outstanding career at Chelsea. Moves to Real Madrid and he's just completely shit. So sad. hopefully he can get his uh, he can get more game time. He can stay healthy and get his rhythm back. So yeah, it'd be nice to see see Hazard uh, show us some some skills like he used to back in the days. Right, Man City PSG today. Mm-hmm. What happens? Yeah. What do you think? What 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 was wrong there? PSG started well. And PSG again. Um, PSG. I, I think, in my opinion, I think PSG should have put that game to bed. In the first half again, just like Chelsea should have done what they just like Chelsea should have put a game to bed in the first half of their game against Real Madrid. But in this case, you're playing against Manchester City again, Pep and the City boys, those guys, man. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to beat City, man. It's hard to beat them. It's just they they're just relentless, man. They're passing their movement. But PSG in the first half, PSG, yeah, they got the early goal. But you could tell, man, P- PSG played City out the park. City, they looked so confused. They didn't know what they were doing. They were like, it, it looks like they were almost like panicking. I mean, PSG were, is in their movement off the ball. Their mo- like, their passing was crisp. Right. Crisp passing and move. And then they were hitting, um, uh, hitting, um, hitting uh, um, Kylian Mbappe. And so, and you're attacking Mbappe. And uh, Neymar, I think they could have scored more goals, but what happened was I think Neymar, Neymar again, he's just too flashy. He's too, he's too, he wants to show off, dribble and all that stuff. I think that's what kind of killed him, man, because they they had opportunities. Mm. Not, not, maybe not necessarily clear opportunities, but I think they kind of dibble dabbled on the ball a little right, bit too, too long. They weren't direct. I think if they were a little bit more direct, they probably would have scored a couple more goals. And what happens when you when you don't when you don't take care of your business playing against the is in teams like City? Yeah, they're gonna come back at you. Oh yeah. And the you City, saw the and, first and, goal. I uh, don't know the keeper. I don't know what he was thinking because the guy I, didn't even touch the ball. He, 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 I don't. Know I think what. I think he was expecting one of his uh, his defenders to to clear that to clear that. But I don't think he expected it to to just go through like that again right. too. Yeah, he, he should have done the keeper should have done, he should have done a better job, but man, the goals, man. And then PSG gets the red card to uh to uh, Idris Aguirre. And you know, pretty much it's, it's game over. Two one, two away goals. That's pretty much City is they're pretty much in the finals, man. It's, Can you see PSG coming back from that? Oh uh, man, it'll be tough. It's possible, it'll be tough. It'll be tough because. Yeah, I, I don't. It, in in I'll say this like I've seen this with PSG over the years. When when they come to the semifinals, I think last year they 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 went on the semifinals, right? Was it they won they were they won to the final, but the semifinals, semifinals was one leg. Okay, so I think the same thing last year is that they went on the finals. Is that P? I think PSG they don't they don't capitalize. They don't take their chances like they. They dibble dabble a lot. Like they're all like, especially Neymar. There's so I mean, Neymar, Neymar is okay. He's 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 trying to dribble. He's doing the skill here, skill there. Just go direct and and go into the box and shoot. Right. I, I really don't know why. I, I've I've noticed I've noticed that thing about PSGs that they're it's like they're they're overconfident and right. they feel they got this, but. They're not direct it. enough, and 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 they don't force force the issue enough times. They they just 
they think, okay, they got it. But by the time they've conceded a couple goals, it's too late. Right. And then they start to panic. It's the same thing that happened. It happened last last season uh, um, in the finals. They against it, Brown Munich one nil. They, they had they, opportunity to win that game. They opportunities. They had up. They had chances. They just didn't finish. They didn't finish. They just didn't. They they just didn't finish their chances. They just didn't. They didn't force the issue because they have the players to do it. Yeah, Neymar and Mbappe. Uh, uh, um, Di Maria. Did he play today? Di Maria. He played well today. He played well today. Really well. Wow. You play, I mean, the way they play is like, I mean, I'm like, how the hell that game should have been, they, again, it should have been at least 2-0 to PSG before halftime, right. at least. But again, it's come back to haunt them, and I think they're going to be out now this time. So, yeah. But I like the way uh, um, Poch has got them playing, though. Right. Uh, so um, you predict it's done. So you're saying City are going to be in the final. I, I I think City are gonna be in the final. I think PSG will will, will come at it. PSG will but won't have enough attacking. They have no choice. They gotta attack. Um, but the two away goals. I just don't see PSG going to, to City scoring because PSG PSG will need to score what they will need to score at least two goals. Yes. And stop and stop City from scoring. That's a hard job. Yeah, I mean, it, if PSG win 3-2, they, they're through. Yes. If PSG win 3-2, they're through. They need to win but 1-0. If it's 1-0, they're out because City scored two away goals. Yeah. They need to score at least two goals. Two goals. They need to score at least two goals. They need to stop City from scoring. If City do score, they need to score three goals. Yeah. They need true. to score three goals. So, I mean... It's gonna be, but the thing is gonna be hard because playing against because Pep got City more playing uh, kind of a little bit more like a slightly, I'll say slightly pragmatic style a little bit. He's not scoring yeah. all the five, yeah, five goals yeah, like they normally used to. Yeah. The defense is tighter. Yeah, with that Ruben Diaz guy in, in defense, so he's he's improved them defensively. So they don't they don't concede that many goals. They right. really don't concede I, that I many see, goals. I see. So, I don't see City conceding two goals, in my opinion. It's, it's right. going to be tough. Right. Well, you work. have rounded up European, the Champions League. So back to Europa League. Uh, is the United just have to deliver tomorrow. There's no United, other way to go to think about it. They just United have to, got to deliver. And Ole, I, I, I would say tomorrow is on Ole more than the players. It, it, it depends on what Ole the lineup and his tactics tomorrow. Because I think we can go out there and win that game. Ole needs Ole needs um at least two creative players in the final third. Right. At least two creative players in the final third. If it's only Bruno, it's 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 gonna, gonna be tough struggle. Bruno. It's gotta be Bruno and someone else. Bruno and Pogba or Bruno and Van der Beek. In my opinion, I don't know why Ole doesn't do this. In my opinion, I would play. The regular back four, I will play Fred and Pogba in the midfield pivot. Mm. I will play Rashford on the left, the left wing, the left side. The right side, I'll play Van der Beek and I'll play Bruno in the middle and Cavani up top. I will, would, I'll put it, I'll he, play Pogba, would, Van der Beek, and Bruno in the same There are certain players he doesn't trust. I remember him saying, he said that in January, Diallo's really doing great in training. He's cutting it out, blah, blah, blah. In February, he said the same thing that he's really close to starting. We're not coming to end of season. This guy never even started any game. And, and, and we paid, we paid 30, what, 35, 35 million. He's, he, he's a first team player. He's, he's, he's got a first team uh, um, uh, um, jersey number, his squad number, number 19. That's, that's first team. Yeah. But I, I think it comes down to only. I think it comes down to only not trusting certain. Yeah, that's I think there's certain players exactly. he could like. He trusts with his life. There's certain players he, he doesn't want to risk taking that gamble. The word gamble doesn't want to yeah. gamble on them. Yeah, yeah, he, he doesn't. He, yeah, he doesn't trust them. The, that's why people yeah. like uh, Diallo, Van der Beek. They don't. Mm -mm. Uh, Eric Bailly at times falls into that category. He doesn't mm -hmm. want to gamble on these players who is like, it's like he can't put his mortgage on them. But people yeah. like. Fred, McTominay, Maguire, Lindelof. He'll put his mortgage yeah. on them that they will, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, so it, day, is, it is what day. it is. It is yep. what it is. 
Well, Bems, thank you so much. We have come to the end of the show. Bems has told you guys what to expect tomorrow for the game against AS Roma. Um, he's told you the lineup he expects. He's told you the predicted score, what he thinks will come out. He's saying that United just have to use creative players to get through this game. AS Roma on the other side, seventh in Serie A against second in Premier League. United have to do what they have to do. There is no other, there's no two ways about it. It's, 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 they just have to get it. Yeah. They have to deliver because more, they man. can't it's, fail it's, it's, a, a fifth consecutive semi final. This would be disastrous. I swear. Oh, yeah. If they don't get to the way. final, oh, that, that, that'll be bad, man. That, that would be, be really bad. bad. You know? yeah. So uh, don't forget, fans, thank you for watching our show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, drop your comments. What if you do you agree with Bems? Drop your comments below. And don't forget to smash the logo on the bottom right to subscribe. Bems. Absolute pleasure. I'll probably see you tomorrow because I'll be doing probably I'll probably do a watch along. I'll see how that goes anyway. But uh, okay. it's good um, to see I'm you. It's good to see you, brother. Um, you, after this game, we've got the big game against uh, Liverpool on Sunday. <laughs> oh, that's another one, man. That's another <laughs> one. <laughs> I, I mean, looking at both teams form wise, you would expect us to. You would expect us to United to to uh, win against Liverpool, mm. but yet again. I expect Ole to treat Liverpool like the way he would treat uh, City. Right. Just, yeah, I expect him to treat that game the same way. And, and I expect the the regular, I mean, the four guys, Maguire, Lindelof, uh, uh, McTominay, Fred. It's going to be a back six. Back six. And front four. I expect that. So, you see, you have that big gap between. Oh, it's going to be that big gap in the middle. Obviously, yeah, I I expect that. I mean, except except he plays well. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. He's, he's gonna put he's gonna put players that are gonna get put a shift. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be put a shift in FC. Right. Shift in, yeah. shift FC players. That's what mm -hmm. which means it's gonna play uh McT McFred and uh Magaluf of uh, Maguire. Yeah. He won't play mm -hmm. Eric Bay. I know that he won't. I ain't playing. He's not playing Eric Bay, which I think that's one of the everybody should start that game. Everybody should play that game. Should. Should, but he's not. He's not going to play Eric, Eric man. In fact, well, Eric should even play against. Uh, he should play, play against, against a, a, Roma. A, 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 um, yes, Roma. Should he, he should, yeah. but he's not going to. He, 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 he's less. He's less of the two to be bullied off the board than Lindelof. Exactly, and he, he's he's got a better recovery speed oh, than yeah, Lindelof. That guy's but, fast. Hey, oh, he's fast, man. This is uh, this is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer not exactly. trusting, not. Giving, not trusting his place, he doesn't not, trust the squad. Yeah, he there's a certain trust. place he does not. He just like, yeah. uh, mm, I think I'll go what I'm comfortable with. You know, yeah. probably play safe. That's why his is even his subs are so late. Exactly. That's you why the, against Leeds, bringing Van der Beek on what 86. Um, what the hell's Van Cavani do, tend man? to go. Could have brought Pogba and Cavani together, sixty something minutes, sixty minute, boom, yeah. so they could make an impact. Yeah. Anyway, uh, why weird. Daniel James was there for 74 plus minutes is beyond me. Bob. I have no clue, man. I think he thought he, he thought because Van, because the Daniel James uh, um, card worked against uh, Leeds in the first the yes. first leg, so he expected it to be the same thing. But you're playing no, against. Do you not think people man. are going to try and change? The guy also going to concede six again. Come on, Bielsa's not stupid. Bielsa's going to make no, sure. No, he's that. not. He's, he's, he doesn't he's, want to be fresh. Sure he's gonna he's gonna clip that one. So Bielsa just made sure it's like okay, yeah, they still played uh, typical, but they weren't as open as they were when they played us the first time around. Exactly. You that's noticed just, that's you noticed they were a bit more conservative. <laughs> they were they were more conservative, they were way more conservative. You can tell the difference. The yeah. first game they were open, they were yeah. open. We were, and that just played into us. They left the spacing behind, Daniel James and them were, and then McTominay, because they were open in the first game. You can see McTominay making those runs into the box. He scored two goals within a couple minutes. But this game, oh no, man. They they were like, nah, nah, you, you ain't doing that this time. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Bielsa's not stupid, man. No, he's, he's, he's not. not but we, you know, some people always say, Oh, this time I was speaking to a United fan and said, Oh, this time we're gonna hit them for eight. I said, I don't think so, mate. Yeah, I've been watching Leeds lately. They play some good football, but they would not, they they would be more. Disciplined, yeah, and trying. They actually were trying to hit United on a break. Yeah, yeah, they were trying to. Yeah, yeah, they were trying to hit us on the break. Yeah, it was, it was crazy, man. Yeah, that that was a, that was a game that we should have 
I mean, yeah, we should have beat them, man. But we should have. But uh, it is what it is. So, yeah. I, like, like you were saying, when I, I think I asked you, or well, I was asking, I was asking the uh, Houston Red Army fans, had that been a title race, they said the lineup would have been completely different. So I will give Ole the benefit of that. That if that was a title race against City. He would not start at Daniel James. He would the lineup would have been completely different. So yeah. I'm gonna give him a bet a benefit of that that if we were in a touch race whereby it was like four points between us and CD and blah blah blah, neck and neck, he would have gone for a different lineup than what he played on Sunday. So I, I agree. Yeah, I, I I agree. I agree. I agree. I think I think he knows that oh man, I mean, I mean he's known. Everyone knows there's no catch in city, man. It's not so I hope there are fans out there, please think just be smart. It's not we're not catching city, man. That's just let's be real. <laughs> but yeah, Ole obviously knows that, so he's just maybe he's prioritizing Europa League over there. Yeah, and uh, resting players, players probably so. So yes, Ben, we will see you probably catch up with you tomorrow and we'll probably talk to you before the Liverpool game on Sunday. You take care, brother. Thank you so much. Glory, glory, man. It's always a pleasure, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so yeah, much, bro. Thank you, man. You take All care. Right. Yeah, take care. Bye bye.